Hello everyone, how are you? Thanks so much for joining me here. We are live both on my page and on Essential Stencils page right now for a DIY project. So I can't wait to get started. If you are watching me from um, Essential Stencils page, that's where I'm seeing the comments. So let me know where you're tuning in from and that's where you will be winning prizes. So if you are on my I Restore Stuff page, jump over to Essential Stencils page to watch the live. But um, I wanted to show my people over there too. My page is I Restore Stuff. And you can follow my blog at irestorestuff.com. If you're in Australia, you can um, get your DIY furniture painting products from my website there. Hello, Mary. Hi, Christina. Sue's here watching. Amber's here. So excited to see everybody today. Well, I can't see you, but you can see me. <laughs> I'm so excited that you're here. <clears throat> Let me see. We're going to be doing something, uh, working on a new something that's coming out, being released uh, by Essential Stencil on Friday. And so I'm going to um, demo that live today. So stay tuned and join me. Here we go. Now I can see my comments on the laptop down here. Uh, but I wanted to show you a few things, how to stencil. Uh, if you've never stenciled before, let us know that. And if you want to share this with someone also, there's always that little share button, we would like to call it sprinkling the love around Facebook land. So hi Bronwyn, hi Tammy, how are you? <laughs> oh, Northern Illinois, how are you Tammy? Um, Susan's here, Elisa. Okay, so what I was saying was if you wanna share that, I'd love you to do that. We love it when you share our lives um, and it jumps you right back here. Once you've done that, you can send it to a friend via message, post it on your page or your uh, personal profile. So we're going to be making two signs today. I always um, make sure I have a couple of projects on hand in case one goes really super quick and then we can do another one. So here is the first one I'm going to do just on some plywood and I've taped with some painter's tape halfway um, across because I'm going to do be, be doing a two-toned look today on something. We've got a bit of a horse western theme going on today. So one of the stencil sets that I'll be using is Wild as the West. Don't go anywhere because I'm going to show you some new transfers today too. So, and uh, if you don't already see in the links in the description of the live, I've got some of the things there. You'll see my link for Totally Dazzled Country Pack because they've got some cute, amazing bling that you can um, that you can also put on your signs and things. So I'm going to see if I can work one of these in. You can help me choose something to put on there. Oops. And what have we got? So I'm going to use a couple of different colors, uh, just a chocolate color, a dark, dark brown and a white. And I'll be using the Fusion Mineral paints here today. And um, I'm also going to be doing a larger sign. So later on when I get to this one, it's a huge board and it's got, it looks like a sort of a crooked edge, but it's a live edge. Although it's very smoothed over, it's not live, live edge like you would normally see live edge wood. That's the raw side there. We just got this from our local hardware store. So this is um, right angles, but this one you'll, you'll notice it's sort of got a bit of an edge to it. So they make these in, in Australia anyway, in the hardware store like this, and you can use them as shelving or a little table or something like that. I've cut this one down to signboard size. So it's got a bit of a, it's a little bit sanded down and routed, but it's a bit of a wonky edge there. But I, I like that look. Not as nice and rustic as um, Melissa and the Millers from Miller's Rustic Sawmill, <clears throat> but it'll make a great sign nonetheless. All right, I've got a bit of a farm and horse theme going on today. I did want to also mention, so one of the stencils I'll be using for that project is this one, which is Life is Better on the Farm. It's been very popular and it's got Farm Sweet Farm on the other side. But I wanted to let you know, I noticed a bundle on uh, Essential Stencils website today and it's called Life is Better on the Farm Bundle and if you get that bundle it's um, you'll get a discount, 10% discount. Then you use my code I Restore Stuff anywhere on Essential Stencils website. Just pop that code I Restore Stuff in the checkout field and see what you save. Save 10% on top of whatever else. So in this bundle, it's the Life is Better on the Farm. No, it's called Better on the Farm bundle. And you'll find a set of brushes, 
these two stencil sets, Life is Better on the Farm and Live Like Someone Left the Gate Open, that's a two stencil set, and Farm Stencils as well. So that's just something to look out for on Essential Stencils page. But I'll be using this set along with some new transfers that I haven't showed you yet. So let's get started on our project and I will get to those, don't you worry. And it's all horsey themed. Uh, and they will be available, limited supply, from Friday in Essential st EssentialStencil.com website. These, um, let me just show you now. I know that you're keen to see them. All right, so they are horse transfers. So here is the horse transfers. Very, very limited supply, so not available till Friday. Okay, so we're just going to show you that and let you know that uh, you can grab these on Friday. And if I know Essential Stencil, they usually uh, set their timer to midnight. So early, early, early Friday morning, if you're up, or late, late, late Thursday night at midnight, they will usually set those going live. So I'll show you them again in just a minute. So for those people who might be tuning in, um, oops, I've forgotten a paintbrush, so hang tight, hoping that I can grab this without too much drama and you can still hear me because my microphone's on but I've walked right into the garage to grab a couple of paint brushes because I am going to be painting this board here <coughs> and we'll be doing those stencils in a minute. So I've taped off, I've measured around about halfway down the board, taped that off, this is the side I'll be painting first and I'll do that the white and then I'll go on with the brown colour. So we're going to do white and then brown across here Hello everyone, how are you today? Let me see to where I can see my comments again. There we go. Hi Melissa, Deb's here. Joyce Ann, <laughs> you're gonna have to go back to work. That's funny. All right, so when I'm stenciling and I've got my tape down here, does anyone else think that looks a little crooked? <gasps> now I'm second guessing. Have a look, is it straight? I feel like it's a little bit crooked. Should have measured a little better. Here's my tape. Now my board, someone always asks me this, it's 11 inches by about seven and a half. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna go with the centimeters because that's what I know here in Australia. Yep, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it was just slightly crooked. I'm eyeballing it. But that was a better eyeball right there. Okay, so we're painting this white. When I'm painting white on a um, on a painter's tape, I'm trying to get as much as I can on this part of the board first. Get all that. And this is raw, raw wood, so it's going to be a little bit... Um, porous and soaking in. It's really going to soak the paint in. Now I'm going down towards here. I'm not going across because I don't want anything to bleed underneath the, I don't want any paint to bleed underneath the painter's tape. A little bit like stenciling, similar way. So yeah, Essential Stencil mentioned there's some limited edition horse transfers coming up and I'll be showing you those again in a minute. I gave you a sneak peek just before and they'll be available on Friday. So if you're thinking about using any of the stencils today, buying any of the sets, don't forget to use my code, I restore stuff. And yep, these, the horse transfers will be available Friday. I don't even have a link for you there on my site, but I would love it if you used my code <laughs> on Friday. <coughs> Thank you to those of you who are sharing the live, sprinkling the love here. We always love that. Share it out. If you are watching on my I Restore Stuff page also, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. I am live here on Essential Stencils page. We're going two places at once today. Um, once a week on Wednesday night in the US and it's actually Thursday morning here 
It's the 22nd of June today here in Australia and it's my husband's birthday. Another year older, another year round the sun. So I can still see, that's got quite good coverage actually. That's a little off-white, a slightly grey colour. It's called, it's a furniture paint by Fusion Mineral Paint called Lamp White. You can use any acrylic craft paint for stenciling. I love to use Fusion Paint, that's what I use for painting furniture. And here in Australia, if you're on my page, I stock both Fusion Mineral Paint and um, Artisan Mineral Paint and Chalk Paints uh, right on my I, I Restore Stuff website. Or if you're local to me in Brisbane, at uh, the Camp Hill Antique Centre. All right, so I will put this brush in a plastic bag in case I decide I probably will do a second coat on that. So these are just bubble, great big giant bubble wraps and I cut the tops off them and they are perfect size for holding your brush while you are in between coats. So I love it. I love a good upcycle and I came up with that last year and um, everybody when they see that they're like, oh my goodness, I never would have thought of that. Well, I didn't either until just, I don't know, brainwave hit and I saw them and I went, instead of just throwing those away, because I do have and get so much packaging. Oh, look at all the birthday messages for Marty. <laughs> Thank you guys, I'll let him know. He's out at the hardware store as we speak. <laughs> he's always doing a project in the garage, so he's got something going on. Actually, he's building road cases. I don't know if you remember in May, early May, so it's been a month and a half now, uh, his business all uh, burnt down and lost a, lo a lot of audio video production gear, road cases, all the rest of it burnt in the fire. So we are starting again, folks, and so he is literally building road cases uh, in the garage the last few weeks. <laughs> he does a great job DIYing as well. All right, so I've, I've dried that, and I might go ahead and do a second coat on that. <clears throat> Let me just put these down here while I do this second coat because I know you want to look at those horse transfers again. I'm just going to leave these here, just leaving them right here for a little looky, a little look-see, thinking what you would do with those. Aren't they just adorable? Available on Friday. Limited release, guys. Don't miss it. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure... Essential stencil will have them there midnight Thursday night ready for a Friday Some of you crazy people stay up till midnight to make sure that you get the first um, The first little pick of the bunch You crazy crafters you <laughs> Who's that who's those people who stay up till midnight till they make sure they don't miss out <clears throat> Aren't they adorable? They are very very yes Bronwyn Glad to hear you're rebuilding. So sorry you had to go. Yeah, I know. It's it is um, it was has been a really difficult time, but we have really seen the hand of God in everything. It's just you know people have people have been a blessing. God has been a blessing, and we have not done without. And you know we still have each other. We still have our home. So we just count all of those things, you know. And when stuff like that happens, you, you've just got to grow through what you go through. That's the saying, isn't it? <coughs> all right. So we actually had a bit of a, a birthday celebration with him last night with family. His dad came over, my parents came over, and the girls were here. Okay, so now I can take the tape off. And I will use the hairdryer to um, to dry that again because well, then we're going to tape the next section and then do this next section brown. Oops, that's a bit. <coughs> so, yes. Hi, Janice. How are you? Bonnie you used to have 32 horses. They are fabulous, aren't they? 32, that's a lot of horses. I'm guessing you had a lot of land to put them on. <laughs> Alright, so that is very super quick to dry. The Fusion Mineral 
mineral paint does dry fairly quickly. Now I'm going to use this chocolate colour. I just feel like it's going to go nicely with our horses. Now we are using a stencil set today and the stencil set, one of them is going to be this one, Wild as the West, and I'll show you the six stencils in that in just a moment. Just want to get this going and dry. Why not? I think I could probably just reuse this tape. So being careful now that it's been on the board a couple of times, it is, um, it's lost some of its tackiness, which is good. Now I need a different colour brush. Here we go. So this is the colour Chocolate. It's a rich, dark, dark brown from Fusion. And probably I will only need um, one coat of this, I'm guessing, of the chocolate. So see how I'm just going this way in the direction of the grain, but it's also moving it away from the painter's tape, which similar to stenciling, you want to stay away from pushing it under the tape accidentally and making fuzzy edges or having it sort of bleed, we call that. And so I'm pushing it away. I don't want to also, I use my very first dip in there. I've got all that paint on the brush. I don't want to put it straight here, straight right away. I'm going to put it down here a little. Then with the rest of it, I'll come back over there because I feel like there's just way too much paint to risk getting it going under the tape there. I want to do the sides as well. This is just a plywood. And, oh, I did read out the measurements of it before, of the size. But I usually just, um, you can either have your boards cut to the stencil sizes and kind of estimate uh, what size you'll need. Or I just have some random boards sometimes. Or I'll find things at our local thrift store to stencil on. Even old canvases and sign boards. And I just work the stencils to fit whatever boards I find. <laughs> I'm a bit like a, a bit recycling in that way. Oop, I think it's um, actually going to have a little bit of a blend here. I didn't realise that the some of the paint on there, that was silly of me, was still a bit wet on that tape from the white paint that I painted. And so, here we go, I'm just doing this edge here. So I've got a bit of a blend. This could be just a blended look then. Might have to go over it. We could do a blended look. That would be nice also. <clears throat> Something right here. Is just a little bit white because let's see if I can see that still. <laughs> Made a little boo boo, little error. Okay, I think that's got it. So in case I use that brush again, I could put it into a plastic bag. In fact, I probably will because I didn't bring my, my brush cleaning water tub to the table today. <coughs> yes, ombre, that's the word. So you could do ombre look and just blend the two colours there. So let's see, hopefully this will come off come off nicely. Let me just dry that quickly. <coughs> yeah, the transfers. Okay, so there are transfer tools available on the website. I don't know that they always send you one with each pack. I think they're available separately now. So. Okay. Hopefully I've made my line, see, nice and crisp there. No fuzzy, excuse me, no fuzzy edges. Uh, and I think it's not too bad. We've, we've got a stencil coming over the top that will be a distraction if we can see any, any uh, blurring there. So, oops, it's still a little wet. So I will be using these horses in just a minute. Here's my code, don't forget that. I restore stuff for saving 10%. Now. I've, the stencil set we're going to be using for this first one is Wildest the West. It's a six-pack set. And we have Wildest the West, 
These are the stencils. We've got the horseshoe and the horse. That's the one I'll be using today with Wild as the West. Then we've got gorgeous boots and sunflowers. So then we've got a yeehaw and a take a bath, you dirty cowboy, and also a cowboy on a horse. So those are the six in the set of the Wild West pack. So don't forget, 10% off using my code iRestoreStuff. The link is in the description of the live. Now, I'm not thinking that, I'm thinking that doesn't look quite halfway, but this is my idea of, of this, I think. I'm just going to go like this and like this. I hadn't quite decided whether I was going to do it up the other way. Hmm. But I, yes, I think I'm right. This is shorter than this. <laughs> so let's see. The horseshoe will fit better on the brown, which doesn't work as well for what I wanted to do. I was hoping I'd do the horseshoe in brown. Oh, that'll be okay. I could do that still. doesn't matter. And then the horse will stand out on there because I'm going to do a horse transfer here instead of this horse. So to do that, I'm going to have to tape off a little bit of horsey around here because I want to use my transfer horse instead. So we get the tape and we just make a little bit of taping art. <coughs> So Essential Stencil has put the link for the Wild as the West stencil set up there. So with this one, we're going to put a little bit there and then we're going to make it go this way and just kind of move it around like that. Now I'm going to just tape down on the bottom here. Um, everyone's saying happy birthday to you, Marty. Thank you. <laughs> Did you hear him? Called out, thank you. All right, I think I might leave a little line down there. We'll see. It's a little bit tricky to get your tape, but you can just kind of twist it and turn it. It doesn't matter too much if you get it a little bit wrong. Um, just trying to get a good straight edge here for this bottom bit. And I'll leave a base for the horse to stand on. See if we can get it that, like that. Okay, a bit tricky, but we'll get there. Okay, and uh, the tape in the middle here will help it hold. <clears throat> now I'm going to use one of my stencil brushes. So don't forget, there's that bundle earlier that included stencil brushes in it that has the um, farm sign and the farm transfers and everything. So that's kind of stuck there because of this tape in the middle here. So it's not shifting anywhere, which is great. And we'll use the brown, um, the brown. I'm dipping it in there. If you've never stenciled before, here's your basic stenciling tips. And now I've just flicked it onto my surface, which is not good. Then we want a piece of cardboard. I just recycle cardboard to offload. That's called offloading your brush. Make sure that's all offloaded on there. <coughs> You're welcome, Cindy. Let us know, guys, if you are new to stenciling. We love to know that in the comments. Jean says, tape is my friend until it gets difficult to tape off small areas. Yeah, I understand. I'm going to add a little bit more on my brush. I do have a fair area to cover here. So when you're stenciling, you want a fairly dry brush, and that gives you the best chance of neat, neat edges without any sort of going underneath the edge, okay? The second board I'm going to do today, I've already prepped that one, so I won't be doing a, a long and tedious intro to <laughs> painting a board. Um, <clears throat> but what, what I did with my second board is I whitewashed it, so give it a whitewash look. Denise is asking, do you have a shop where you sell all your crafts? I do. So if you are watching on my I Restore Stuff page here, I do have a, a shop in Brisbane, um, here in Queensland, Australia. So if there's anyone from Australia watching and from Brisbane, give me a shout out. I'd love to know that you're here watching today. But 
these stencils and transfers are available from Essential Stencil. They ship to the USA. Just grabbing a little bit more on the brush. And I'll still offload it each time, making sure. So we've got some bridges down here. There's one that's quite long and skinny. So I'm just going to make sure I'm careful around that. I'm sort of doing a pounce and swirl, not a full swirl. Around here I can kind of swirl it a little bit more. Adding a bit more. And the brown, I figured it's got sort of that rusty brown look that a horseshoe might be. Maybe they're more silver or, you know, pewter colour, but chocolate brown. I feel like the browns are coming back in even for furniture and those taupe tones. All right, I think that looks great. It doesn't have to have full coverage, you know, you could just do a little bit of coverage. Again, just popping your brush into a plastic bag in case you want to use that uh, brown stencil brush for a later, a later project. So I'm going to lift the stencil up now. Whoop, it's very stuck down because of my tape. Yes, painter's tape is your friend because otherwise that, if it was any other kind of tape, it would have stuck to the surface. All right, we're getting ready to do this stencil, but here it is so far. We've got the horseshoe down the bottom, this at the top. We are going to put one of the new horse transfers down in here. So at the top, I'm going to just do a, while this is drying, I'll do a wild as the west stencil on the top there. And I can just use a bit of painter's tape to tape off those sides, make sure that they are not going to go anywhere. White. So this is a white, that lamp white that I did on the base I'm using for the top. I've got a bit of a two-toned thing happening. And I'll just use my small brush. So the brushes come in a set of four, four different sizes for all different, different stencil uses. So if that's a large stencil, you use the large brush. Okay, now I'm going to offload this again. I've got quite a blob of paint right here that I can go back into that one. Yes, you can definitely watch the replay. Um, and I tend to try and repeat things so that if, if you've missed it the first time, I should say it again um, in the process. But yeah, if you've got any questions about stenciling or about anything we're doing, please pop that in the comments because uh, we are so willing and eager to help you. If I don't see the comments, Essential Stencil can answer questions. And of course, we have our beautiful Essential Stencil community here, lots of which are a sten a Stencil of the Month club members. Um, we have lots of experienced stencilers here who watch our lives every week full of lots of great tips and information. So, um, Patsy, no, this is not a new bundle coming out, but there is a new release of transfers. I'm going to just drop those here again so you can see them coming out on Friday and you'll be able to, they're limited release though, so you have to um, be on the ball. They come out Friday, so don't miss them. Friday is when you can order them off the Essential Stencil website. That's when they'll be going up there. And they are, you would just be able to look up horse, but I would love it if you use my code, I restore stuff, you can get 10% off when you order them. So don't forget to use an ambassador code. Okay. Needing to add a little bit more. Now, oops, I feel like I had a little bit too much on my brush. You hear me? <laughs> oops. <laughs> So let's see if I can point that down just a little more. Adding the uh, paint on, I should have offloaded it a bit more. I feel like there's going to be a little bleed here because Sharon was impatient. Didn't think about how much paint I was offloading on the brush. Hopefully not, but we'll see. All will be revealed in just a minute. So it's easier to put on more paint than it is to take it off because if we put too much on and it bleeds underneath underneath the stencil, you get fuzzy edges. We don't want that. We don't want that. Okay.
got sort of nice rustic wood looking background with this chocolate colour. Anyone said that they're brand new to stenciling? Let me see. Don't forget, we give away prizes at the end of our live. Just saying, join in the conversation because <laughs> that's where we pick our winners from. Uh, and if you are watching over on my iRestore stuff page, because I'm actually cross live at the same time there, you'll need to be on the Essential Stencil page to make your comments or to be in the running for winning prizes. If you're watching the replay, you also have a chance if you um, comment the word replay within 24 hours after we go live, then there will be a winner picked from those people as well. So there's a couple of chances. All right, so that is the Wild as the West stencil. We haven't finished yet. We're going to add a horse transfer right down in here. So let's just pop the lid on there. And then I'll go on with our second sign, which is going to be Life is Better on the Farm with a fun horse transfer on that one as well. Okay. Scissors. I did have scissors here. The horse that I picked that I thought would best suit these ones <coughs> is this little guy over here. So see these two really large horses. There's a smaller version of them right here, which is beautiful. Okay, this one. All you have to do for the transfers is cut out around the transfer that you're going to use for your project. <clears throat> You'll need a transfer tool. Now you don't have to use one of these, you don't have to get them, but they're really handy. They've got a good um, grip handle on them. You can hang them up in your workshop. Um, but you can also use things like a store card, something like that, to rub on the transfer. All right, so I'm just going to sit my horse on top of the horseshoe stand right there in the middle. Can you see that? Let me see if I can move it down slightly so we can see in the middle what we're doing. So we remove the white paper backing sheet and then we're left with the transfer on this clear plastic part here. Now you, when you, once you place it, don't move it because if you pick it up it might stick and ruin your transfer. So we want to just pull it, place it right down where we want it. So I'm thinking go up further up the top. I want his hooves to just go a little bit on, on there. So hopefully that'll work well. So I'm going to rub it all over generally. You can do that with your hands. Then I'm going to rub really hard to make sure it's adhering well. And you can start to lift up the transfer and see the plastic sheet will now come away from the transfer. If you see that the transfer is still stuck to the plastic, lay it back down and keep rubbing because it hasn't quite come off the plastic. Gorgeous tail. These are beautiful images. You can imagine all the fun you could have with these. So these, if you've just joined me now, these are going to be a limited release released on Friday. So if you want some of the horses, um, you will have to jump on the website on Friday, essentialstencil.com, and just type in the search bar horses. I don't even think we've got a link for that yet. So something to look forward to. Oh, my horse is almost done. You can see there's one little speck that I missed right here. I don't know how that came off, but it's now in the wrong position. If I laid it back down, it would be out there in the white. Wild. Does he look like a wild horse? It's gorgeous. All right, so now we have our backing sheet is all off. Now we just need to, I would seal the whole project. Um, I didn't bring my sealer, but you can just use a clear polycrylic spray or something like that. But there you go, there's a nice close up. Wild as the West, aren't they just adorable? So let's have a look at our second project today, which is going to be another one of these huge large horses that I wanted to do on this one. Now, 
I wanted to show you, I did show this just before, so if you've just joined, this is the huge board that I'll be doing this one on. And I don't know the measurements. I can measure that in just a minute. But it's just a large board, and I'm going to do it this way. There used to, there's supposed to be a shelf. I just got it at the, I don't even know what kind of wood it is. It's quite thick. It'd be great for a mantle or something like that. But let's see. Let's pop that down there. <coughs> Let me just show you this bundle again. It's called Better on the Farm Bundle, and you actually get in this bundle. This is the set I'll be using today. But if you don't have this set and you want a few farm things, here's a great bundle to take advantage of. It comes with essential stencil brushes, this set, this set, and some farm transfers. And that is called Better on the Farm Bundle. It's right now you can save 10%. It's $59.84. And then use my iRestore Stuff code on top of that for a further 10%. Okay, so this one, I wanted to use the Life is Better on the Farm stencil for the top, which I'll probably do in that chocolate colour again. We could also have Farm Sweet Farm on the back. Isn't that just gorgeous? But I really feel like this is just... This is what the horse is saying. So here's... <coughs> <clears throat> where the stencil is going to go and then we're going to put our large transfer down the bottom. I love the size of these, just beautiful. I'm going to use this one because he's in a barn so he looks like he's on the farm. You can imagine you could put some of your farm animal friends around it. So some of these smaller horses might actually um, be similar in size to some of the farm set on the farm transfers which I cut up and put in the little packets so they might go nicely in size with some of those as well. So this is where the horse is going to go, nice and simple. And I feel like I could, should probably do my life is better on the farm up here first. And I'll get a bit of tape again, tape that. <coughs> there we go. So I think that looks great. I will raise it a little bit from the bottom because often when you have something either sitting on a mantle or a shelf or something like that, you'll have something down the bottom anyway. So sometimes, if in doubt, maybe raise it up just a fraction. Now, I did have, here it is, my brush that I had the brown paint on. So I'm just going to reuse that same stencil brush that I've had sitting in a plastic bag so that it doesn't dry out. And I'm going to get a little bit more paint to add down to my board here. You can see that. And here's my other one. So I don't know if you can see his. I'll put that here beside it so we can see the project side by side that I've been working on today. <coughs> yeah, the quality of the transfers is really good, isn't it? Hello from Louisiana. Decelles. Catherine. <laughs> Catherine. All right, so offloaded the brush as much as I can and now making sure it's all sort of centered, I can just do a nice swirly motion. Depending on the surface that you're working on, see how, I don't know if you, if you were here before when I did the other one, it took a little while longer. It really does depend on the surface sometimes how fast the paint goes down and goes on. So that one, it was kind of soaking up or um, in the wood, the wood is more porous. This one, it seems a lot more smooth and the grain is more together. Don't forget also that where you do have detail brushes. So if you are a person who likes to fill in the bridges, so bridges are, see on a stencil, you've got that little gap in the D at the top and on the bottom. Those are what we call bridges in stencils. And so the bridge helps the letter stay together as a stencil in order for it to stencil. So we have these detail brushes which come in a set of six different sizes that you can use to fill in those bridges with. So those are also available on Essential Stencils website, essentialstencil.com. Yeah, the horses are just beautiful. <laughs> Britta says you're not a horse person but you love the, yeah, absolutely. 
they're just really beautiful stencils aren't they no transfers transfers that's what they're called a little bit more on the brush there and once again if you look at your stenciling and you think mm, I think I need it to be a little bit darker than what it's turned out it's so much easier to go over with a second coat once this has dried so do make sure that your paint has dried in your stencil first before you do your second coat and the reason that's really important is that if you go on a, with a second coat and the first coat hasn't quite dried then the second coat can sometimes pull away the first coat I've seen that happen before have had that experience so I'm just letting you know been there done that so make sure it's really dry you can hit it with the hairdryer if you're impatient like me uh, and just make sure that that's fully dried before you go on with your second coat you can always have a peek underneath and lay the stencil back down to get that second coat but the reason we just want a really nice thin first coat at least is so that we don't get that bleeding underneath the stencil we get nice crisp edges that's what we're aiming for when we're stenciling oh every now and then you get a little bristle from the brush but it really does not happen often with essential stencil brushes really well made Yes, Joyce Ann's reminding us that the new transfers are for release. They're only released this Friday and it's a limited release. And so if you do want those, you might want to order Friday. Don't leave it later than Friday. All right, I think we have finished that part. And so this is a whitewash background. I forgot to mention that as we were starting this project. And for those of you who've just joined, we're doing a central stencil on the farm sign. So if I do want to do a second coat, I'll figure that out later. But I'll get on with our transfer with the horse right now. So I've just whitewashed the background of this um, live edge kind of wood piece. And we've got a beautiful nice crisp lettering there and I think that's perfect I don't think we need a second coat I like that and if I did like I said if I did want to fill in those bridges I just have to use one of our detailed brushes and go over into those little areas so here is now our transfer so this comes in a set of two sheets of horse transfers where's my other one right down here and it's just simply called horse and it comes with these two sheets see the gorgeous examples right there and these will be released on Friday I've already cut out those two for these projects here so I've cut that out I just want my tool I'm going to put it exactly where I want it so we move the white backing and we're left with just the transfer you want to be really careful to put it exactly where you want it And he looks like he's safe in a barn. Life is better on the farm. There we go. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. They're nice and large. I remember the large cow prints as well. There's the Highland cow and the, what's the black and white ones called? It's not a jersey. Holstein maybe so I'm just rubbing this all over with our transfer tool you can get these on the website essentialstencil.com or you can use a store credit card store card I should say oh, all right let's just have a look at the edge here as I'm peeling back I just want to make sure it's um, peeling back just fine some of the larger ones um, and if it's a I find if it's a smoother surface well I don't know it's really hard to tell sometimes the surfaces you just can't tell <laughs> depends on the surface depends on the transfer heat the weather 
holding your tongue just perfectly right, hey? Sometimes. This one seems to be coming off just nicely. But yeah, sometimes if you're having a little bit more difficulty with the larger ones, they tend to want to lift, but this one's going just perfect now. And like I said, sometimes it just really depends on the surface. If you've got a real porous surface or a slick, smooth surface, Oh, coming off nicely now. <clears throat> I know everyone's like, I must get these at Carla. That's funny. Must get these. <laughs> yep, have to wait till Friday, guys. But don't forget, if you want to save, don't forget that code. So we've got the Wild West um, six pack. It's Wild as the West is the one that I did this sign with. Oh, this one's coming off nicely. On this side, it's being nice. Just have to go really gradually. And like I said before, if you do see any of the transfer actually sticking to the plastic still and staying on there, just lay it back down exactly where it came off and let's see, move that. Oh look, look how easy that is. Just rolling that back there. If I do see any, I'm gonna lay it down. There we go. This edge here. Here I was stressing out about it not coming off and Wow, this is looking, I just found myself a new method, you guys. It's only on those edges that it seems to be. I'm just holding my hand gently on the top, so maybe you want to try this method and rolling it back. Now, I want to be careful when I get to this end. I don't want it to flick off and then, you know, be missing half an ear or something. So what I might do is just come down along this side. Whoop, see, there we go. It's just ripped off there. Put it right back down and we're good to go. Yeah, perfect. I love it. And they do feel so smooth to, and they seem to, you know, you can sort of see the grain of the wood underneath. They're a little bit opaque on the ed edges and areas, but I'll hold that up nice and close because it really, they are just really a beautiful transfer. And then we've got the life is better on the farm look there. So what do you think of those? I am so excited. Aren't they pretty? We are getting ready now to choose some winners from today's live. And I hope you've enjoyed that. So Friday, the horses bolt from the paddock. Is that how we say it? Bolt from the stall. And... <laughs> They will be ready for release on Friday. So uh, get your codes ready. So you can use my ambassador code, I restore stuff, save 10%. And there's also that bundle I showed you today. Um, that is great value with the life, uh, better on the farm it's called. Absolutely gorgeous, Bonnie says. Yeah, aren't they? Wild as the West, there's another fun idea for your little horse coming out of the horseshoe right there. And the two-tone kind of idea. Hope you learned something valuable from those today. So there's our today's projects. And we will just check the comments right here for winners. If you are on my iRestore stuff page, you know what I didn't do? I was going to add some totally dazzled bling. See, you could put something like these little... I know sometimes it's better not to add because you might just be more taking away from the whole simplicity of it all but that's like a belt buckle kind of boots that is cute cowgirl like if this was going for a cow uh, you know a little girl's room you could put cowgirl on the bottom it's a little cowgirl bling isn't that gorgeous so if you do want in the description of the live I did add my totally dazzled link if you want any of these these do ship to Australia so if you are watching there's those which could also add to it Lots of fun things. And we've got the stars. The stars would be cute too. I was thinking you could replace a letter with a star, but you wouldn't really be able to tell what that is. West, maybe. 
I don't know. This is a plain star. So they come in antique bronze, silver, gold, and rose gold. And there's another cowgirl hat. Oh, the hat is perfect size for the horse's head. I probably wouldn't do this, but, you know, cute idea. We could put the, the hat on the horse's head. <laughs> All right. Do we have some winners yet, guys? Oh, and another cute horseshoe with bling. So, yeah, grab my totally dazzled link in the description of the live here if you want to use some of those for your pro project as well. Yeah, they do. I like the dazzled too. Okay. Looking. Let me know if you see some winners. Yes, Chrissy, you'll have to watch the replay. We've got horses coming. They haven't bolted from the stall yet. They come on Friday. So just letting you know, that's the new horses transfer that will be available on Friday. Our winners today, Melinda. I have a sister named Melinda. Melinda, Kay and Kim, congratulations. Now to claim your prize, there is a, a you've been tagged and there's instructions right there. You email support at Essential Stencil. Dot com and let them know that you're a winner on today's live with Sharon from I Restore Stuff and also of course let them know the address of where to send your prize to so go email them those three and congratulations on winning today I hope you'll all um, go ahead and grab these on Friday don't forget for any of the things that you've seen today use my code I Restore Stuff get your 10% off I'll see you again next week for another fun live DIY bye <laughs>